Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about quad box for the month of November 2018. This is a pretty hefty box. You want to see what's inside? Stick around. Quad box. That's what we're talking about. And I will say, for starters, I feel like a kid shaking his presents on Christmas morning. But, I mean, it's got some thump to it. It's got some weight to it. I don't know what's inside, but I'm dying, dying to find out. But before we do that, let me just say, if you're first time here, maybe you want to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it. It just makes finding my videos a little bit easier. It costs you nothing to subscribe. And we basically, this is what we do here. We do some unboxings, we do some build videos, we do some flight tests, we do, we do all sorts of stuff dealing with quads, drones, whatever you want to call them. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get to it. Gonna bring you in close, we'll break it open, we'll go through what's inside of it, then we'll talk about it, give you my take on it, and we'll do a little bit of a cost analysis. And as well, being the second box for the month of do November between Drone Drop and Quad Box, we'll also do a little price comparison between the two boxes. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. We got the box. We got my X-Acto knife. Let's crack this thing open and see what is inside. So, we have our seal here. Seal has been broken, little pre-open on that flap. And here we go. All right, so I'm not even gonna, this paper is basically sort of like the packing list, so I'm gonna skip that right away because I wanna be surprised as I go through this, what we got inside this box. All right, so first thing we got is some stickers cool stuff now this is a new one we got socks socks from send it which are pretty cool looking socks actually I ain't gonna lie we have a little coupon code from FPV trailer that's pretty cool we have a XT60 lead and this is the lead that would be on your battery. So I'm a little confused why, what would we do with this? This would be good if it was the reverse of this, though you can put it on a quad to power it with, but this is the one that would be on a battery. So my guess is it might relate to something else in the box here, but we'll, uh, we'll keep digging and hope to hope for the best. We have what looks to be a power cable. So I'm guessing that might also have to relate with what this has to do with. So it's just a power cable with some bare wires that plugs in the wall. Okay, so I'm betting that has to do with what's in this box. And I, I have a little sneaky suspicion what it might be, but we'll keep digging. We got some props here. These are Wind Dancer 5043s by 3 clear red durable 2 left 2 right designed for freestyle. The Wind Dancer series. Kind of excited to try these out. I am a fan of the Gem Fan props for the smaller stuff. So it'll be neat to see how good these uh, work on the larger stuff. I kind of like the color. It's really cool. It's got that like where the edges kind of look bright and highlighted looking because it's like catching the light from the sides and it's having that fiber optic effect to it. Really cool. Even comes with a little sticker in each one. So we got three packs of those looks like. One, two, three. Three packs of those. We got a interesting, that's pretty cool. I really like this. I mean, essentially it's like a kind of like a keychain. I'm liking that. And let's check out this shirt here. <laughs> oh, that is so true. So true. Let me show you this. Okay. So. It's basically, it's from Race Day Quads. It has a broken quad on there. 
And at the bottom, it just says, never say last pack. And we'll talk about this when we get to the review portion, because that is so damn true. So damn true, if you're not aware. All right, and this last thing, which is, is very heavy for its size, I have a sneaky suspicion what it might be. And my suspicion was correct. What is this, you may ask? This is what's known as a power supply. Why do you need a power supply? Because this is how you charge your packs. We'll talk about it later, but let's look at the stats here on this thing. Wow, it's a 24 volt output. That's pretty sweet. All right, just take a peek at that. 24 volt out. That's crazy. That's crazy that they just included a freaking power supply in their box. Insane. All right, so to review, power supply, T-shirt, three packs of props, some socks, lockout tag, stickers, and my hunch was correct, power cord for the power supply, and XT60 connector for the power supply. All right, let's run some numbers, see what we come up with, and we'll talk about it. The numbers are in. Here you go. This box was pretty darn cool, especially if you're someone like me, but we'll get into that, mainly because of that power supply thing and stuff like that, and you may not even realize you need it, but we'll get into that. We'll, we'll let me, I'm getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's do these in order. So first we got these props, these GenFam props. Now I've said this once, I'll say it again. I love getting props. And this is a new one to me, the Jam Fan Wind Dancer series. I've never tried them before. And this is why I like these boxes because it's great to get a bunch of props that you know you know and love, like the Dal Cyclones or the HQs. But sometimes you get a little bit of a variety and it lets you try something else because you might like it, you might not. But either way, you got to try it. And that's why I like, you know, getting some props like this so I can try them out and see if I like them. Next up, these socks. So, love the socks. I'm, you know, Kind of like having, getting kind of funky socks every now and then. It's kind of cool. It says send it on it, you know. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what more to say about a pair of socks. I couldn't really find these exact socks online. But, you know, I, I kind of took a average guesstimate based on, you know, socks like Bombas and looking at other ones that were, like, kind of like fancier type socks and, you know, your run of the mill and came up with a price. And I feel like $12.99 is, a, you know, pretty accurate. To, I mean, they're very high quality feeling. They don't feel cheap. They feel really actually nice. Like, I kind of want to wear them and see how they feel on the foot. But, uh, you know, I like them. They're cool. They're digging them. The remove before flight. Basically, it's the, uh, the you know, lockout keychain. And, you know, it, it, it's basically it's just a keychain. You know, a lot of people have these. If they have, like, a bomber jacket, they'll have one of these, like, on, like, a zipper, like, over here usually or something. So, in real life, these would be on some sort of pin or cover on some sort of aircraft or whatever of a mechanical part that you don't want moving until it's ready to take off. And the idea is that with this big red flag, you realize to remove that before getting in and flying it. And it's kind of cool seeing that bleed over into our hobby it's a nice keychain the latch here it's kind of cool makes it look a little authentic like the the only thing that would have been cooler is if they had like a little pin attached to it but now i'm nitpicking but i mean for a couple of bucks you know i mean you can find you can go i mean they won't on once it won't say quad box on the other side but you can find red tags like this that say remove before flight for like uh, 99 cents even. So I figure, you know, that being quad box custom, it's kind of like an extra layer of coolness. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead to the shirt. And I actually love this shirt. First of all, I love the color. This maroon color is really cool. But what I like about it is this part here. I'll hold it up here so you can see it. And it says, never say last pack. And I chuckled when I first saw that when I unboxed it, as you saw, and I'll explain. If you're not aware, and I don't know why this occurs, but it does occur. When you go out flying with your buddies, and you're doing some ripping, and you're having some fun, the day can be doing awesome. 
the moment someone will say something along the lines of, this is my last pack or I'm on my last, something about like, this is the last, the moment that those words are phrased, usually something goes wrong. And I don't know why it is. Maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe it's that it's the end of the day and you're tired and you're not flying as good and you're a little like, you know, not paying attention. Maybe you come, become a little complacent or maybe you're just a little bit more aggressive. I don't know what it is, but usually that last pack ends up with some crunching and bleh going on to your quad and it's happened to me multiple times where i'll you know not even realizing it just be like all right you know i'm on my last pack flying it and then i don't know just something goes wrong and that's why i laughed because it can't be just me that's having that issue and it's maybe the rest of you are having that issue so if you are having that issue comment below and let me know if you have that same phenomenon where you, you'll mention something about it being your last pack, and next thing you know, your quad's broken in in pieces, or at least had some sort of a crash, or stuck in a tree, or something. Let me know down below. I'm aw- I'd, I'd love to hear about it. And lastly, the boost item. This thing is killer. It's a 24 volt, 400 watt power supply. Okay. Now, before we get into the power supply, you may be thinking, well, what is it? Why do I need it? Okay. Let me explain a little bit of what this is. In our hobby, obviously you have to charge batteries. That part I'm sure you probably know. Some chargers plug into the wall. And that means that inside the charger is a power supply. It turns the AC power that comes out of the wall into DC power to power the charger, as well put the power to put the power into the lipo packs. Some chargers, on the other hand, don't have a power supply, such as my favorite charger in the whole wide world, these ISDT Q6 Plus chargers. These are my absolute favorite charger in the whole wide world. If you want to get one of these, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I appreciate if you use those links because it does help support the channel. But I love these chargers. They're super small, super portable, super lightweight, super easy to use. But the only downside to them is they do require a power source. They don't have a wire that you just plug into the wall with them. What's good about it is if you're out in the field, you can actually plug a lipo pack on this side and a lipo pack on this side. And it'll charge from this one to that one. So you can have like a really big lipo pack over here and then your small packs over here and charge across to push the power from this side to this side into the packs. That's really cool. But when you're at home, you need a way to plug it into the wall. And that's where one of these power supplies comes in. It has a connector that we've put on that plugs in just like that. And off you go. Before we get too deep, let's just talk about how this gets wired up. Because remember, I got this separate and this came separate. And I'm going to just show you how to connect it. So the XT60 end of things connects like this. The top two screws are your negative, And the bottom two screws are your positive. So just make sure you put a black wire in one of the first two and a red wire in one of the second two. Or you can just do like I did, stick it in the middle and you're good to go. And then on the AC end of things... Here's how you hook it up. You put the yellow wire down here at the bottom. You put the blue wire in the middle and you put the brown wire at the top. Brown wire lines up with the L. The blue wire ends up with the N and the yellow wire ends up with whatever that weird symbol is. But that's how you wire it up properly. What's great about this power supply, it's the 24 volt version and it has 400 watts and it does like 16 point, what does it do? 16.7 16.7 amps output. What does that mean? Basically, it can power one of these guys to its fullest potential and you'll be able to milk every last drop out of what this charger can output. Because it's 24 volts, because it's got the 16 point whatever amps, it's like these two together are like the perfect match made in heaven. So if you got one of these and you don't got one of these, go get yourself one of these. You won't be disappointed because the two of these will work great together. Where does that come into play? It comes into play primarily when you're doing parallel charging and you're charging a lot of batteries on a parallel board. If you're familiar with that or you know how to do that, that's where this really shines because my batteries are 4S 1300 mAh pack 
Typically, I do have some 15s and some 1800 MAHs, but primarily it's 1300. With this setup, that power supply and that charger, I can charge in parallel and they work. I get a full normal 1S charge rate. It's great. So that's why I'm really psyched and excited to have received this power supply because the power supply I was using is this guy here and it's a very big and beefy thousand watts but it's only 12 volts. So at 12 volts, I'm really not getting the full potential out of the charger. So this is a big upgrade and it's gonna let me charge a lot of batteries quickly and efficiently using my old favorite ISDT Q6 Plus charger. So that is a huge upgrade and it's a huge value when you look at these prices. Look at the one-time purchase. You're like $30 over the cost of the box. As a subscriber, $41 over the cost of the box, that is like a ton of value here. Tons, tons of value. I am super psyched and super excited I've received this because, I mean, granted, I'm in a situation where I needed, wanted, and used power supplies. Now, if you're not in that same scenario, this may not be as huge and wonderful and amazing to you because you don't have a need for the thing that's really expensive in the box but i will say if you do have this and you don't have one of these please use that link in the description below pick one up you will not be disappointed i love this this stupid little thing charge is great and mix with this you can parallel charge to the cows come home what i don't know it's that time, we all know, time to compare. Here it comes, there. So here is where we stand since February. So if you're new to the channel, I've been keeping track since February. I've been subscribing to both boxes and speaking of, full disclosure, I pay for these boxes out of my own pocket with my own credit card and I'm a subscriber just like you to these boxes. I pay for them. No one pays me. I don't get them for free. I'm not paid to say what I say. These are my own opinions and let's get digging. So since February, I've been keeping track of how much value over what I paid did I receive from February to November, all of those boxes for drone drop, 195, 295, whether you're a one-time purchaser or if you were a subscriber. So me as a subscriber, I basically got just shy of $300 over the cost of the boxes from drone drop. But now with quad box, we look at this. Now you see that I'm still about 50 bucks ahead with quad box, which means I've gotten 50 gotten, which means I've received $50 more of value of these over the cost of what the box was, which in turn tells me that I'm still getting a greater dollar for dollar value to value deal with the quad box. Now, ideally, I love both of them. That's why I subscribe to both of them. Drone drop and quad box are sort of like the competitors and I enjoy getting both of them, mostly just because I like opening them and getting surprises twice a month instead of just once a month. But that being said, when it comes to the value, Quad Box is still currently the leader on average. And this box in particular, especially if you if you need or want or like these power supply things, this box was like Woo! Awesome because of the value involved in it, okay? So I hope that helped you out. I hope I gave you some information that you may or may not have known, and that's about it, all right? So as always, my name is Tronage. Fly strong.